Well, actually, I, I sort of have two of my my best holidays have been um, in San Francisco and Melbourne. Of my tour. And I'm not just saying that because this is an Australian show. Uh, you know, this is a genuine thing. I'm, I've been to Melbourne twice. It's sort of much more chilled out because Sydney's a bit. Because I love London, but when you go away, you don't want to go to another London. And Sydney's a bit like London in the fact that everything's quite fast paced. Whereas in Melbourne, everyone's just very chilled out. And, you know, so that, that was what's really cool. Well, out of the world, that's a, the, the Andromeda Galaxy, but that's a long way away and probably not feasible in my lifetime. But, on. Um, where would I go? I'd. Love to go because I went to Kyoto once, and I'd love to go back there and spend. Because I didn't get to go for long, I only got I think about two days there, and I'd really like to go there and spend some, spend quite a lot of time there because it was very, again, just really peaceful, really tranquil. It was, it was really nice. You should try and travel lighter than me, because my family is sort of, you know, we'll go for like, well, we have, we go down to the hall. There's hundreds of suitcases, and you, we're only going somewhere for about a week or something. So, so we're we're bad like that, and. Uh, I suppose that would be the main try and pack as light as you possibly can. Underwear. I suppose that's the most basic thing that you can you can have really. I went up to, to Port Douglas for a few days, and um, and we went to the uh, the uh, right into the rainforest, and I got taken around by a guy called Bill, who was like the coolest man in the world, and it was um and he told me to mention his. The, his company's name, but now I can't remember them. Um, but it was it was just like the cool. It, we had just a really brilliant time. Well, I think in this one, particularly the main difference we see in Harry in this one was actually right at the end, after his ba his battle with Voldemort. I think he then comes to a big realization, that, which is that if he's going to make it in life, he's, if he's going to live, he's probably going to have to make it alone. He's got Ron and Hermione, and they're incredibly important. But at the end of the day, the fight between him and Voldemort is just that—it's only between them, and no one else can possibly understand what they feel against each other.